Hello and welcome everybody to another video here on the channel. This time we're playing a, a spicy one, or not a spicy one, a deck we're all used to. But I think that has a... Um, the last time, or I'm on a quest to find a deck that beats Aspen Planeswalkers. And I think uh, maybe I found something here. Because one of the most exceptional cards against Esper Planeswalkers, which is, yeah, in my opinion, one of the most dominating decks in the format as of right now, is Burn Down the House. Because it doesn't matter, creatures, Planeswalkers, it wipes it all. So this card is excellent against someone who's trying to play Kaito into Wandering Emperor into Lolf and so on and so on and so on. And it's just a good card in general. It's a, it's a solid sweeper. Or, if you don't need a sweeper, you can make some devil tokens and go on the offensive. Who knows? Anyways, yeah. And this is maybe the best shell around it. I'm not quite sure. You could also play like a Hinata Magma Opus deck. But again, in my, appear in my um, humble opinion, I'm not the biggest fan of Hinata and Magma Opus. It's like clunky. I kill you, Hinata. It's like three colors and Magma Opus sits in your hand. and uh, It's just... It's a little too inconsistent, you know? And this blue-red deck just is a, basically a blue-red control deck. Plays the best card draw options in the game. And has access to Goldspan Dragon as a fast finisher. Hmm? Can always surprise your opponents with that. They have to sometimes keep up the Vanishing Versus all the time. And it gives you infinite time to just draw more cards. Talk, draw more cards, which is super nice. Um, I love, I always love it when your opponents keep, keep, keep up the Vanishing Versus. Um, it's, it, it really, yeah, it, it doesn't help them, because I can see it, and then I can just draw more cards, establish a really good hand, make more land drops, make more treasures, and then explode um, onto, the t onto the board at one point, yeah. And um, when they're restricting themselves so much in mana, sometimes it also means you can just deride disruption, the Vanishing Verse. Anyways, Holebreaker Horror is the hard win condition we have in the deck. Two copies might be a little bit too much. I'm still working around with the list. Maybe maybe you just want one, maybe one more in the sideboard. I could totally see that. Um, the rest of the deck, I mean, there's not much to explain. We have Dragon's Fire, we have Braid, Negate, Disdain with Stroke, Sword coming, some counter spells in the main deck. We're basically almost exclusively playing on instant speed in the early turns, so we can have a bunch of counter spells without damaging or yeah, uh, having awkward um, game plan. Shadow Skull Smashing is also a nice card. Um, that most of these Izzet decks don't play, they, they, they max out on Spike Fit Hazard, they max out on Shabai Disruption, for example. But I think Shadow Skull Smashing is quite good against the Esper Planeswalkers deck too, because the games go very long, and it can kill a Planeswalker, or it can kill two, kill, <laughs> it can kill two Planeswalkers, or it can kill uh, two creatures, what have you. You know, like, uh, it, it's a powerful effect in light game, and the games go long against these all sorts of decks. Um, yeah, the rest of the decks, pretty self-explanatory. We're playing Deluge, Deluge is... Um, Especially if you go into a long game, it's just so so much better than something like Behold the Multiverse um, to have that ex uh, that that seven mana effect. Um, Unexpected Windfall is still in the deck um, for the explosiveness. With Goldspan Dragon, you can cast it on turn four, Goldspan on turn five, and you instantly have like six mana when you attack. You can do some funky things. You can ramp into Hope Breaker Horror. Um, this is obviously much much worse than it's in different iterations of the deck. We're not playing Gavanic Iteration because Gavanic Iteration is a little bit of a Unnecessary card, I think, and we don't have that much crazy things to copy with. You could like play it as a one of or two of. It's not crazy to do so, um, but I'm choosing to not do it right now. Maybe that changes in the future. Um, the mana base, two Hall of Stone Giants. We're used to that. Field of Ruin, Otavara, Sokan Sun, of course, and then three Spike Fields, three Javai disruptions. Naturally, um, sideboard. We have the the bolts for like Naya Ruins or Mono White, any aggressive aggro deck. Um, borrows and I gotta say these burning hands they're a little bit of a relic of the past um, I'm not sure if I actually want these I think I might just want to have another braid you know there's cards like reckless storm seeker I might be worried about um, I don't I don't necessarily think there's anything big and green running around we can keep the one copy I mean we can bring it in against any deck that is playing creatures go to ground Design of a Stroke, of course, more copies in the sideboard. We have Hermits, we have Negates, and we have some X for the Aggro decks. We have a Cinderclasm, and we have a Battle of Frost and Fire. Um, again, another card against any creature deck or against Esper Planeswalkers. Um, I have that one in the sideboard and the Burndown in the main deck, because with the Burndown, at least when the Sweeper is dead, you can make the Devils. 
with the battle if you have it in the main deck you play against the control deck it's it's, it's not going to be that great um so i have that one on the sideboard and yeah smoldering egg um again against the against the aggressive decks we can bring it in against any green deck and i'll be holding motorverse against other blue decks for grindy matchups all right is, is it back is this deck actually competitive these days I think one reason why it's not so competitive, or it was not so competitive in the past, was um, that these Ozov decks, they played like low to the ground, right? Remember that Ozov midrange deck I made a video about like two weeks ago, where they had like Luminac Aspirin, they had Duresses and Humiliates, they had Concealing Curtains, they had this, what's the card called? Silver Quill Silencer, I think. I always call it Squencer. You know, this aggressively slanted black-white deck is really good against dragons. But I think that deck has been sort of pushed out by the more mid-rangey, slower, grindy Esper Planeswalker type of blue-red decks. So, yeah, I think um, is it is bound to make a comeback. Let's see if uh, let's see if I'm right. This hand is a little risky. I'm definitely going for an expressive duration on turn two here, um, just to find me some interaction because we're on a draw. Okay, yeah, this is not exactly what I wanted to see. Uh, this is not what I wanted to see, for sure. Um, hey, okay, here we are. Boros, 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 Boros. Ooh, oh no! Oh no! Alright, we have a good sideboard. I think I'm not gonna win this game, but... We have a lot of red cards in the sideboard. We have the Smoldering Axe, Flame Blast Bolts. Spikefield Hazard would be a nice top deck. Um, yeah. But my braid is probably gone for now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, my, my, my decklist is not necessarily built in mind with mono white aggro game one, I suppose. Um, but we have these burn downs. So mm, if our draw is reasonable, if our draw is reasonable, we might just sneak one out with the burn downs. But this this looks tough. This looks tough. We can Shadow Skull for one next turn. Mm, might do that. We'll see. Kill off uh, the Talia, perhaps. Then uh, the Abrade is a cheap for mana. Yeah. I mean, my hand was already very risky in a way, and I got like super punished by getting paired against Talia Elite Spell by not on the draw. I mean, yeah. I was hoping to get paired against something slower with like iteration, iteration, memory deluge, and a couple lands there. <clears throat> if I know I'm getting, if I know I'm playing against this deck, I'm instantly mulliganing. By the way, like if I know I'm playing against Boros, I am snap mulliganing. That hand. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so I killed Italia. I mean, it's ah, it's rough, huh? I would really like to Shadow Skull both of these, right? So we get a two for one, which we can do next turn. Um, but that would mean I will Alteration here and take another hit for seven, go to six. That would really mean that my opponent, please, doesn't have anything else um, for the time being. I could also Shadow Skull the Spellbinder right here. They hit me down to nine, then I break the Talia. Um, also kind of hoping that they don't have much. It's my choices are not very uh, good. Hmm. I think I'll just go for this play and just preserve my life total as much as possible. It's sad, but yeah, probably lose. Like if they have a good hand, I probably lose no matter what I do. Like if I do this and then go Shadow Skull, I probably lose against whatever they deploy here. And if I go Shadow Skull one, I might just lose against. Oh, now this flips. Huh? Oh, that's annoying. That's very annoying. Okay, I go to two live then, huh? I, oh wait a minute! I could just play the dragon. That's 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 got to be the best line here. I just hope that works. Hope that my opponent floods. Hope that my opponent doesn't have anything. If they just have a Brutal Kafar, that'd actually be fine. Because that cannot exile my Goldspan right now. They would need to flip it first. 
other lane, block, take five. Um, if I block here, I take six. If I find a burn down, I might be fine. Six damage. So iteration and then attack, find a burn down or something. If I block the Kafar, I uh, iteration and then I have five. Yeah, no, I have to block the Dahlia here. All right. I hope they don't have a second one. Could just be. They always have a second one. They always do. Yeah. <laughs> they always have a second one. Damn it. Ah, oh, and they also flipped the Kafar. Brutal. Actually brutal, huh? <laughs> Ah, 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 that's so bad. I should have blocked the Kafar. Ah, ah. ah, that's so annoying. That's like the super punishment. All right, all right. You got me, game one. No, didn't play a single red card. And besides the Sokin Sana, I guess. Ah, okay, fine. Negate, stroke. Thank you. Sword coming. No, syncopate, maybe. Um, Hope Breaker Horror, definitely not. I think it's just too expensive. I'm not the biggest fan of Syncopate either, to be honest with you. So, Bolt, Abrade, Burning Ant, Cineclasm, Smoldering Egg, Battle of Frost and Fire. Alright, um, so now we have two too many cards. We have a lot of, a lot of fives. Um, a lot of fives. Fading Hope isn't the best. That's just, it's not the best, no. Um, the issue, I guess, with Boros is that they have Showdown, so they can go the grindy route, for sure. I think I might cut a dragon here. Maybe I don't want the battle on the play. Maybe it's a little overkill. Eh. Maybe the Fading Hope can go. Uh, it looks like a decent configuration of cards I have here. But basically, like, a, is it control deck with dragons? It's it's basically is it dragons, huh? My favorite deck. Blast from the past. Yeah, is it Dragon's also a deck you could play, but um, I don't think Smoldering Egg is the real deal right now because again, people just sit on all their removal and they just like kill it, you know. Um, at least in the game once. Postboard, you can bring it in perhaps. Um, and I mean, the deck we're playing right now is basically is a Dragon's pretty close to it. Uh, it just forgoes the X for burn downs, whole breaker horror, a little bit more of a top end. And with the burn down, you also have a very powerful effect that can catch you back up. And gold spin is always just insane, right? Like in standard without the nerf, it's just brutal. It's just so good. Huh. No third land. Oh my god, if they play Italia on turn two, I'm gonna cry. I think this is a mulligan. Yeah, this is a little better. Um, what do I do here? I'm not the biggest fan of Windfall. I, I I should probably bin this, yeah. It's also interesting, like, do I play this on turn one? I kind of have to, I think. But it's a really good card. Like, if I draw land, land off the top, I obviously want this in my hand. <sighs> but it's like... What are the odds? No, I'll just play it. It's also... Yeah. Oh, they have a one drop. Oh, that's a really nice one. It's a very nice card. Nah, don't punish me too bad here. I mean, if they just have a Talia, which is Dragon's Fight, I guess. Okay, fine. Alright, I'll kill that, please. Thank you very much. Egg, okay. It's a little bit of a non-bow with the burn on, but it's pretty good to go egg into windfall and then see what happens from there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, Adeline is a monster of a magic card. Especially against these blue-red decks. I don't. I mean, I have four dragons fire, which sort of deal with it. But yeah, the burn, the burning hands in the sideboard could be a thundering rebuke, for example. Jeez. Um, okay. 
So these cost both seven mana now. Alright. I need an untapped land, I guess. If I block here, I take eight. Ooh. Do I even survive a turn? Take eight, go to ten, block there, take three, five, seven. Yeah, I guess I survive a turn. Uh, if I draw an untapped land, I'm just gonna blow up the board, right? I did not. Uh, I can flip my egg though. And like kill something. Well, I oh, can all do that in their turn, I guess. Um, sure. Hmm. All right. I mean, oh no, a den. A den is like insanely annoying. Oh my god. Oh, the den is like my ba my nemesis here. How do I beat the den? I'm taking too much damage. Four, six, eight. I go to two, and the den kills me. This might be a quick exit. My opponent had pretty good draws both games, <laughs> and I had a little bit of a lackluster draw, I guess. It was okay. It wasn't something special. I really need to untap land here to blow up the board. Yikes. Um, I think I'm just dead. Like, how do I beat the den? You know. Hmm. I have no clue. I can block the other lean, kill this, take my six. Uh, yeah. And then I go to four. I'll make devils. I'll block the den. No, I die. Do I die? Yeah, I die. <sighs> so, what's the deal? I'll draw into a dragon's fire with the prismatic command. Is that the deal? Maybe. I'll just do draw two. Make a tre. No, yeah. Do, di mm. do this, do that. Draw into a dragon's fire. Kill the Rydain, block the Adeline. Hmm. Unfortunate. So now. Really need to kill this stupid Rydain. Hmm. Oh, I need to find like a shark. It's tough. Can't block this. No, I have to block here. Take my seven, go to free. Uh, yeah, I'm, I, I'm just dead, right? The den killed me here. Camino puts me to one, to two. Okay. All right. You got me. I can I can cast an iteration. My opponent had a monster draw there. Uh, smoldering egg <laughs> was just way too slow. I mean, that's that's other lean right there, I guess. Um. That's Adeline right there. Quite, quite the, quite the monster of a card against these Izzet decks. Uh, yeah, I think uh, I'll cut this Burning Hands for a Thundering Rebuke. Just be a little bit better there. I mean, we have the Dragon's Fires, but it would be nice to have another card in that matchup. That's like good against Adeline. I mean, both those games were just... There wasn't much in the way of what I could have done better, honestly, I think. I could have mulliganed my first hand. That I c certainly could have done. Redane is also very good. Like, my opponent just had, had some good cards there. Anyways. Mm, yeah, that's seven lands, essentially. I'm on the draw. No, thank you. That's not much better. Militsana, what a name. Ah, this hand is, I mean, I'm gonna keep, but what do I keep? I'm on the draw. I probably sh should bin this. I, it just really depends on what I'm playing. It's, but I think on average, uh, keeping the burn down, especially when you're on the draw, it's a good idea. 
could have been the land, but then I'm, I have like five drops and only. It's a little risky. Green, black. Uh, see, and there's another one. I knew it. I knew it. I just, I just felt there was another one coming. Uh, I think I'll just negate that. It's a mythic. It's negatable. Probably a good idea to negate it. On the other hand, maybe I shouldn't have. <laughs> If I'm thinking more about it, it makes a 1-1, one, one, then it pumps it, and then it makes another creature. So I can just perfectly burn down this later. It's like the perfect burn down target, to be honest with you. Uh, yeah, maybe I should not have counted that. Interesting. Kami. Alright. Gets bigger when you cast an enchantment. Black green enchantment deck. Haven't seen that before. Alright. Take the hit. I'm gonna deluge. Nice. Negate. Dragon's fire or land? I already have a land. There's also this land. I'll take the dragon's fire. All right. I mean, let's go. We have to negate. Okay, our opponent doesn't even have an Inferno Grasp or anything. Soul Shatter would have been a blowout. Opponent's sitting on seven cards, nothing to do on turn three. What the heck is going on? Whoa. They really needed that Yugan to resolve, I guess. Good that I countered it. Um. Okay. I don't really know what's going on. <laughs> Kami of Transience. Flameless Bolt is good against that. Negate was fine, but... I don't know. Fading Hope is also kind of decent against the Kami. If it gets out of hand. We don't have the White Bezier anymore, so anything that has like 5 toughness is kind of difficult to remove. That's why you see these Fading Hopes. I'm not a fan of the card these days in this format, but... I mean, you could maybe ditch it because again, there's nothing really huge. But hey, if you run into a Renin Seven, they make a, make a six six tree folk. You have no answer for that thing. So at least Fading Hope gives you that. Okay, you have the Horror, I guess. Horror is an answer, but it's you know, yeah, it's it's, it's a con convoluted answer to a big creature. Takes takes a little bit. Um, are we? I mean, I would keep the burn downs in. Um. Might even just swap out a burn down for a battle. And yeah, I don't know. Maybe cut the Prismary for another bolt. And have one a braid. Thundering Rebuke. Riding Hope. I don't know. We'll see. Could shave a whole break horror too. Yeah, I think like the whole breaker horror is really not that necessary these days. Maybe like one copy is good to find, but maybe the other one should just be in the sideboard. Because again, like it, you don't necessarily need that win condition. Because you, with this deck, you're just gonna run out, run your opponent out of cards essentially. That's the plan. All right, I'll just pass. And then at the end, like even if they kill a couple of your dragons, you can just uh, kill them for like a seven-seven. Of Storm Giants, or with then the one copy of Holebreaker. Mono Green today. I'll just kill everything on their board before I start drawing cards. Usually, you want to kill the things on the board before you start drawing cards. That's usually a good idea. Today is Weave of Harmony Day, I guess. The triplet. Very much all Kamigawa so far. Mm, syncopate and Windfall. Ah, 
Dragon is just... Like, you don't need a fancy combo, right? Like, Jeskai combo is pretty sick, what it can do with the Dragon and Leo and like, boom, 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 go off. But you technically don't need that. You can just play a Dragon and just have interaction. <laughs> Kill your opponent in five attacks. It's just a messed up card. Um, like, whenever your opponent stumbles like that, Goldspin is just the ultimate punishment. And it's just all that in just one card. It's so so stupid. And like if your opponent keeps up removal to, to and is afraid of the dragon, you can always just, hey, no, I'm not playing it. Until I have counter spell, like negate or whatever. And you can just slow play it. And your opponent also slow plays it. So it's just this tough squeeze, which is so lovely with the card. And especially if people are less prepared for it, because I think now people are less prepared for the card, it gets better and better. Lots of spell lands. Yeah, decent hand. We got everything we need. Blue, blue, Mary Luge, removal, bounce, mana. I always have these Shadow Scrolls. They're like glued to my opening, or well, not to my opening hand, but like I've seen them a lot so far. Javari Ruins. Um, just play this tapped. Play this tapped? Hmm. I'll play this tapped. We'll see what happens. Royal 914. Blue white, okay. Fortel. Fortel. Hmm. Yeah. Blue white. That's gonna be an interesting match, I'm sure. Oh, never mind. I could also just Hinata uh, Dragons by that. Um, no, Javadis Eruption seems kind of good here. I could Dragons by it, though. It's interesting. I don't know. Like, maybe I should. So now if they slam another one, I mean, it turns out to be the same. Okay. They have one card on Fortel. <clears throat> Three cards in hand. Oh, they already give up. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Okay. Mm, no Prismatic Command, no Braid, Burn on is bad. The Stanford Stroke is amazing. Rebuke, I guess. Fading Hope is questionable. You don't want to bounce the Inata. Build is good. Helmet's probably good. Negate's good. Syncopate's fine. Good that I have this Thundering Rebuke, huh? Even good in this matchup. Um, Egg is interesting. Primary Command. I mean, sometimes they have Bank Buster, the Reckoner. But we don't know that. It's a lot of negates. There's also a lot of horrors. Two horrors is a lot. They have Valorous Stance, perhaps. The nice thing about Egg is you can just sneak it in there. Early. Flame Dust Bolt, Fading Hope. We just cut like a little down, play some Eggs. <sighs> Playing with open deck list makes, makes it more easy <laughs> to know what's exactly going on. Also, knowing how many basic lands is kind of nice. Because then you can feel the ruin, perhaps, um, and destroy a land for good and when they don't have enough basics. Or when they already drew a basic. No, thank you. Better. Um, hmm. I like keeping this. I mean, what are the odds that they have... Uh, Maybe, maybe it's just stupid. What are the odds? But uh, th Like Hermit. Hermit is essentially the thing I have in my mind. What are the odds? I mean, they could have something different. They could have, like, Suspicious Stowaway. And we already have, like, a bunch of lands. Five lands, four lands. Ah, sick! <laughs> get rewarded! Get, get, God! I haven't seen a list, though, that, uh... I haven't seen... I, I don't think I've seen a Hinata list with Hermit, but whoo, that was good. 
Oh my god, what the heck? Playing that card post board, interesting. Um hmm. Interesting. Indeed. They already played an island now. Maybe we can blow up a land for good. Maybe end of turn. I'll keep it thing eight. Don't play Hinata? Okay, good. Um I'm a little scared to do this now, because what if they have like windfall? I'm just gonna play it slow. They play it slow, I play it slow. Nice, 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 nice. That was important. I like that. That gives me some security. If I blow up a land and have like Galvanic Windfall, I mean, I can't do anything about that. They have like Windfall plus Counter. Hmm, they get to draw some cards. But they might also be afraid. I mean, they already have an island to play. This might just be the single one basic. Mm. I'll just go for it. Nah, ah, ah. Boom. Yeah. Only one island, my friend. If I draw another field of ruin, it's gonna get another land. Are we going to expressive? We could. We could. We could also wait. No rush. No rush. Eh, finding some more shit is kind of nice. They're probably sitting on like a bunch of counter spells. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. Kind of suspected that. <sighs> um, that's like a reason why I didn't want to go for things. I might just negate here, honestly. I don't want them to see my hand. They have another one, huh? No? Nice. Oh, yeah, let's go. Um, do we show him already? Maybe not. Let's just take that one to hand. And play the islands. Now we hope they like slam a gold span. Something like that. They have something here. Maybe they have a Gavanic duration. Like it's so brutal for them. Because they, they need like so much mana with the magma opuses too. Huh. I could also just play a whole break horror end of turn here. But that might just get Valor stance or something. I will play it super slow today. Really wish I could draw like a memory deluge or more iterations. I mean, who wouldn't wish that? Who wouldn't wish that? There's no land. Oh, nice. That's good. I think I'm going to cast that in the upkeep. Maybe I shouldn't cast it at all. Maybe I should just be patient, honestly. Because if they counter that, it's going to be a little annoying. I could just cast a horror. You only live once, whatever. I, I don't know how long it will take me to find like a spell that I can protect the horror with. They just concede. All right, see, sometimes you just go for it. I mean, if they have Valor stands there, it's not the end of the world. They just blow it up, but then I can, you know. Um, yeah, like, it's not the end of the world. All this, they blow it up, that's it. Um, so, yeah. So far, so good. We got completely steamrolled by Boros, but otherwise, smooth sailing. Yep. Uh, 
this too. Okay. Could make one ones. Don't think it's insane to do so. Interesting. Oh shoot, do you think they have a one mana counter? This is some wild nonsense. Like why did they wait? You know, and I know these. I know that Noriko Mori played like the the one mana counter. A spell is spell spell piece is a thing nowadays. That'd be a, like an insane read though, out of the dark. You know, if I would read that out of them. I mean, they played it weird. They really did. Because they're playing an aggro deck, it's kind of likely that they. All right, guys. I'm gonna play around it. I'm gonna I'm gonna do the next level thing. As long as they don't pressure me, I can just make land drops. If I, if I would be a blue white aggro player with elite spellbinder, I would play spell pierce. I can tell you that much. Didn't seem like they had a response there. Hmm. No, I'm confused. I'm really not in a position to play around anything, to be honest with you. Maybe I should have considered that more. I mean, I'll just pass. I, I don't even know how good it is to make some tokens here. Probably not that good. Holebreaker was like the worst draw in my deck. Oh my god, that's disgusting. Why is everyone playing this god? It's so good against me. I just used my strengths fire. No. <laughs> no. We're getting god by the white decks, huh? The white decks are too strong. Rydain too strong. This dangerous stroke looks terrible here. <clears throat> Alright, horror is online. I mean that's my auto that's my route to victory, I guess. Just don't have anything. Can't be countered. No fading hope, no valor stance. <gasps> oh my god, it works! <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable! Unbelievable! It works! <laughs> horror, horror does a good, good job lately, huh? There's a dragon. That one is not controllable, unfortunately. But I can bounce the red aim. And they will disdain the stroke this? Something? No? No? Okay. Um. I'm a little worried about the Wandering Emperor, you know. Hmm. How worried should I be? Um, the like the Wandering Emperor is only that good if Ha, huh, so interesting. Like I attack with both. I have stroke for the Emperor, but if they have spell pierce plus Emperor, which <laughs> uh, could be a thing, then they can just counter the stroke and kill my horror. That wouldn't be great. And they obviously do not have a removal for the horror, so the horror cannot attack, I think. 
The horror cannot attack. The horror is my kill condition here. They don't have removal. They need me to attack with it. They obvious. They, they they very likely have Wandering Emperor. So then the question is, do I attack with Goldspan? If I attack with Goldspan, they cast Wandering Emperor, kill the Goldspan. I'll counter. They have spell peers. They kind of get me. I could just do nothing. I think I'm gonna do nothing. I won't even give, give them the window here. Yeah. I mean, this thing just doesn't do a whole lot by itself. The, do I want to trade go the, the, the spell piece? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe not. Opponent just concedes. Okay, I'm, uh, so I'm sorry. I, I just, mm, I'm, I'm playing too slow. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But my opponent... I don't know. Oh, I wish I now I wish I would have countered. Just to see if they have the spell pierce. Damn it. Mono white with blue. They gotta play spell pierce, right? It's gotta be spell pierce. I mean horror was good that game, but it's just like eh. Maybe one. Maybe one is fine. Play Hermit too. Hermit isn't crazy against the counter spell deck. Cinderclass under Braid, Fun and Rebuke. Fitting up. Yeah. Wandering Emperor is pretty good. Pretty good. Gives these white decks all of a sudden. A card that they didn't have before that deals with my dragons also is like good against spot removal. <sighs> yeah, I don't like windfall at all actually. That card is terrible against spell peers. <clears throat> All right, let's try this. Yeah, I mean, windfall, you don't want to get countered. My opponent is sitting on a bunch of counter spells. Then. I, against my opponent, I really just want to draw um, Expressive Duration. That seems like a very nice one. Because obviously, if you play blue-white, you're going to play it slower. And Expressive Duration... Um, it's nice if they play it slower. We can just develop our lands, get cards, etc., etc. And it's not good. It's not bad against counter spells. Yeah, I killed Talia main phase there because I don't know. We're playing against the deck with counter spells, right? So, mm, okay. This Talia is more interesting. So it also stops my opponent from casting like the Wandering Emperor next turn. I could just foretell here. I think the, I think I leave this Talia alone for now. Maybe it's not good. I don't know. Like for example, if they have Red Dane, hmm. that'd be more annoying. That's a nice draw. I don't know. That was an interesting decision. I could just slam. Could be really good. Could also be bad against the stain for stroke. But if it resolves, it's gonna be really good. Nah, yeah, because they kind of only needed. I mean, yeah. All right, fine. Deal. It's okay. I want more mana. That's why I wanted to do gold spam because the more mana allows me to play around the hermit. 
Um, <clears throat> so six now, six mana. Petrify ruins. Okay. If I cast this. Destroy the Talia. Hmm. Could do so many things. I really want to make land drops. On the other hand, I also think if I do this now, they will likely use one of maybe a negate or something, test the talents, I don't know. Hmm. Could just play it slower. What you got? They got something. Maybe a better. Maybe another one of these. Interesting. I might kill the Talia off. It's bothering me a little bit. They won't take a hermit, but then I'm gonna just pay. And they lose their board mostly. Down to two, down to three, and the hermit. Looking good, looking good. I'm at twelve. Hmm. <laughs> How slow do I want to play this? Do I already want to flip the egg? I want to play this first. I think I'm a little worried that they might have another removal spell, and if I go all in on this egg, I might be in trouble. So I think I'm. Because it's kind of like. I don't really have much going on. I'll just play another egg here. And I think I'll also do this. Or should I just crack the clue? I really want to hit a land drop, you know? Look, if they if they counter this, I think it's fine. Like, I have the deluge. I have stuff. They like spell pierce me here or whatever. I don't care. They don't really get ahead on the board if they do so. I suspect they might have a Wandering Emperor. So they basically have to choose, do I want to deploy the Wandering Emperor or do I want to counter this? Yeah, sure. Like Spell Pierce would have gotten me this game anyways. I go to 10. Ticking time bombs on the board. One passes again. Nice shock, that's nice. Uh, I'll just pass. Don't mind. Don't mind me. Yeah, these eggs are gonna take this game home, huh? I don't even need anything else. <laughs> like these two cards are probably never gonna hit the stack this game. All right, they're doing nothing. Yeah, how do how did they ever win? Doing it now to block. Hermit, land, burn down. I'll take the land. I have the clue as well. The land drops are nice. A Ganjo? No, nothing. Okay. Okay, so now it's again the Wandering Emperor here, huh? You know, no rush. Could have just made devils, I guess, and attacked with those. All right, yeah. <clears throat> nice. 
Okay, interesting, interesting. We beat that player who uh, played Hermit and Spellpierce, I guess, as blue cards. All right, let's do one more match. Um, these games are going fast. And yeah, I mean, the Boros guy just completely stomped us because they went like one, two, three, aggro, aggro, aggro. They were also on the play. My draws were worse. I didn't have as much interaction. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I like the Boros stack. Showdown of the Skulls is a powerful effect against these also of mid rangey grindy decks. I like that. Eternal Sunshine is a cool movie. Yikes. Mono Blue. Mm. Not great, not great. Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. <clears throat> Let's get a little comfortable. Was off. Since yesterday, there's a pigeon outside of my window, or somewhere sitting here and just relaxing <clears throat> and making these like. I can't even I can't even do it. It's pigeon sounds. It's very interesting how to play with expressive duration. Um I like to sometimes just play it very, very slow. Like don't cast it when I don't need it. I have interaction spells early here. There's no rush, technically. Um for me to do anything. Here, I think I want to foretell it. Um, yeah, so because I have the stuff I I can attack from my opponent, I can just wait for the interaction until like turn five, six. Again, I don't need anything, so yeah. Looks like we're getting paired against the infamous, the infamous, the infamous Esper. Playing around Javari Disruption, huh? Little annoying that I won't be able to cast this gold span next turn if I don't draw a red. It's okay. Opponent has the Wandering Emperor. Very annoying. Slightly annoying, let's say. At least we have fading hopes to protect the dragon. Yeah. I think that's actually okay with me. They're just plus, right? No, they make a samurai? Alright. I'll get my scry then. Nice. Yeah, I like. I, 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 I'm fine having this resolve because I just gold span. Kill it off or something. It's so slow, you know. It takes a while to kill me with that thing. And now a little self conscious. Like now they just probably have another one or something. So maybe I just make land drops here. Play it a little chill, no rush. Um this card is pretty bad, I think. Because they have like a bunch of spot removal in game one. I'll just go with the memory deluge plan here. As long as they don't push too much damage or whatever. I could also just kill this off. Nah, I'm not gonna do it now because then they uh, I'll draw my counter spells. If I do it now, they could wander a plus. And make it a. F I could just show the dragon, prevent that from happening. I have seven cards in hand. Yeah, 
This is exactly what I'm talking about. When they keep up the mana, you can you just go for the memory deluge plan. You just make so many land drops, get counter spells. Like I'm also kind of lucky that they're missing land drops, I guess. But yeah, it's it's good. Negate, negate, probably. Yeah. I mean, this is an answer to these two. They very likely have another Wandering Emperor, right? Seven cards in hand. Probably lose both my negates here if I go for the dragon. They have like double Vanishing Verse or something. I'm out of card advantage for now. Maybe I actually was meant to keep the hole breaker. Hmm. Do I just shatter skull? That doesn't seem very good. Because again, I, I suspect they have another wandering emperor anyways. Uh, if I play this attack, <clears throat> they might just wandering emperor me again. I think I should do something now though. Like I have all these counters, but I I shouldn't give them like more time. They have seven cards in hand. They don't have Vanishing Verse, huh? Crazy. So the hand is really bad. I'm never done for good. The hand basically, like, Metox, Doomscar, but they didn't foretell Doomscar. I don't know what's going on. And then they have, like, mm, definitely Wandering Emperor, maybe Expensive Planes Focus, Loath, that type of stuff. Oh, nice. Aggro. Oh, they have March, March of Otherworldly Light, right? That's the card they have. They have priority, so. Kill it, kill off a treasure. Sure. Could have Javai Disruption that. <laughs> With the treasure. Of course, I'm joking. Nice. That's gotta feel bad. They played around Javari the whole game, but in the end they couldn't anymore. Let's see how many basics they have. Ah, we can also blow up the blue. Yeah. All right, sweet. We got the game one. A Brada, not very good. Fading up, not very good. Um. Smart command, eh. Hole breaker, um, eh. Maybe cut one dragon. I know the Esper deck. They have to keep in a lot of counter. Uh, they have to keep in a lot of removal anyway. So dragon's not that good. Um, you just want to you you want to basically do what we did last game. Play the super long game. Um, hermit is probably fine. I would also maybe want this card. Another sweeper for the planeswalkers. Can't hurt. They also have manlands. The hive, if they put me low, they can kill me with the hive. The hive of the eye tyrant, so maybe I definitely don't want to go lower than free. On the 
the removal of the Dragon's Fires, which Dragon's Fire is kind of decent. It can kill most of these Planeswalkers. But yeah, def I mean, I'm still not the biggest fan of Hallbreaker. They just they have so much good removal for it. Um, just play this, call it a day. Or we could play Dragon's Fire. Yeah, I really uh, want to be the, the control deck in this matchup. I don't want to be the Tempo Yard with Gold Span or whatever deck. And we, all, we also have Fear of Ruin, so I, I think three Dragon's Fire is a good number here. Uh, they, they, they do have Henrika Domnati as well. I could see playing another Dragon's Fire over... I don't know. I don't know what over. hate having Hopebreaker in the opening hand. But yeah, I mean, it's uh, if this is a mulligan to six, I would keep it without the horror. I think f going forward, it might be correct to just play one. Again, it's not a card you need right now. It's like not a... It won us a couple games already today, but like in itself. But every deck has like... The, all these Ozov decks have good answers to it. And um, yeah, if you make it to turn 10, 11... You have saw you saw your entire deck almost like thirty cards deep, so you probably find the one copy, um, and again you don't need it because these burn downs they they give you that time. Um, yeah. Anyways, but I'm liking this is a deck. I mean, Izzet still has all the strong cards. Yes, it lost the white by zero. And Aurit's Epiphany, I mean, Aurit's Epiphany was just a kill condition. The white by zero was like a pillar of the deck. Very nice card that just was very good always. But um, it's it's still, I mean, it's fine if it's missing. We still have very good cards. Pawn's ripping me apart here. A card I'm also not so sure about is the, um, the unexpected win. Oh, they have Bankbuster. I forgot about that. Yeah, true. Maybe you want some braids, huh? Or Prismatic Command. How could I forget? Bankbuster is a card that's quite annoying. Oh, they bought an Archon. Cute. Yeah, right. The, the old list used to play Archon. True. I might want to have the fourth Memory Deluge for these post-board games against these discard decks. The Memory Deluge is the best card against the rest. Yeah, there it is. Okay, that's good. There's the Bank Buster. One's missing land drops. Okay, I'll just do this now to play around Car Magic. Oh. Mm, that's good, I guess, because Kaido phases out. Hmm. Can't kill it right now. Mm. Hello, dragons. I like dragons. It's time to deploy them. What if I play Coast, and the next turn I play Island, and then I play a Gold Span, then I have seven lands and eight treasures. That's ten mana. And I play another Gold Span. Attack. Wait a minute. Five. 
Then I have five left. Attacks give me two more treasures. Uh, oh, wait a minute. The Archon prevents me from actually casting multiple spells. Alright, time for a dragon then. Oh no. I already cast a spell. <laughs> uh, okay. Right. Yeah, Archon. A little annoying here. Okay, so I guess the first spell we cast then is Burn Down. I hope that resolves. I know they only have like two strokes, right? Two standard strokes, so. Now, what do we have here? Hmm. Akon doing some doing some things here. Yeah. Um, if they do have the disdain for a stroke, I'm kind of in trouble. If I just pass and go for the horror, they might have just vanishing verse in the end step. They might also they see also much more cards. I think I gotta go for it. Ah. Alright, I'm getting finessed. I mean this is the power of Esper Planeswalkers. Archon being pretty good here. I guess I want some Dragon's Fires. Braids. Damn. I'm getting finessed. Kaito, Bankbuster, Archon, into action. This is the power of the deck. It just it has game against everyone. It has like the best tools. Postbot has a bunch of tools against controlling decks. It's a scary, it's a scary good deck. And it has such a variety of threats. I mean, the Archon is a variety of threat in this version. Bankbuster is. What am I even supposed to do here? Can I activate the hall, try to kill the Kaito? What if they have Wandering Emperor make a token and jump block, you know? Guess the only way I win is Hope Break already now. Man, the Archon is like incredibly annoying. I didn't think it would be this annoying. It's like it's like only in conjunction with Pressure, it's annoying. Alone in, in itself, it's kind of bad against sweepers, you know. Oh, they're pumping it up, huh? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm probably dead this game. I don't think I can win. But, like, the only way I win is uh, Vanishing Verse not existing in my opponent's hand right now. And then playing Goldspan, bouncing this, drawing some shit, drawing some good cards. That's how I win. But my opponent is fairly. 95%, especially if they have anything to win this game. Alright, game free. Hermits. <laughs> maybe it's maybe it's too much too much sweepers. On apply. Maybe another dragon's fire. Or like Prismary Command. That doesn't seem great. I really want a fourth deluge. I feel like if I draw one deluge. Like, if I would have had a Deluge last game, 
I think that would have been like life saving. I might have won against my opponent there because I just like deluge, find find the interaction, find like a dragon's fire or whatever, and then get back into the game. But because I didn't have that, I was like sitting on all my clunky sorcery speed cards. I think this deck really wants a fourth deluge, yeah. Um. Maybe I'm going overkill now, but they have like four Archons. <laughs> it's interesting. <sighs> okay, I'll just play that. I feel like my opponent's playing well, and they know about the burn downs, so they will play the best around it. Right? Like, they also, I don't know, yeah. Mm, that's like the most awkward hand ever. It's not the worst hand ever, but it's pretty bad. Hmm. You know, they have like one duress, take my Javari, and then have nothing. <laughs> I mean, this is kind of similar, but worse, I guess. So it's, it's worse. But I'm not going to five. I kept the seven. All right. Hmm. <laughs> I built this deck to beat Esper Planeswalkers, and now I'm going to get... Destroyed Basper. What we learned in the process, we learned to fix some holes. We not we need the fourth deluge. We uh, perhaps need more spot removal if they're playing Archons. We need a braid for the Bankbuster. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Hole breaker was kind of awkward. Goldspan in itself is kind of awkward too. Like Goldspan is sometimes really good, but sometimes really bad. It's weird. Uh, yeah, and I guess this game and the last game it really gets to be decided on how much card advantage I draw in the end. So maybe I have to up the number of card advantage spells. Maybe we're just running a little dry on that front. We're just a little unlucky there. Opponent has something. They have a soul shatter then. This is a soul shatter. Yeah, it must be. I, I can't think of anything else. With Soul Shatter, you always can cast. I mean, I'm happy that they're not doing anything. Because I don't have anything in my hands. <laughs> I'm literally just drawing lands, 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 lands. Oh my god, I'm so happy. To, like, imagine we have one memory deluge. They would just die. Oh my god, they're not even doing anything. Okay, I, I'm, I'm incredibly lucky. Like, if they would just slam a bunch of things... Um, I'd already be uh, super dead. Yeah, but imagine we had like car, car draw here. We'd be running away. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, they have seven spells in hand. What is going on? <sighs> yeah. I'm probably gonna lose. I need to draw a card draw. Like if they start slamming stuff now, like Kaito and, and whatever. Sorin, yeah, just kill me already. Out of my way. Lance. Okay, I'm gonna do this and hope to find like expressive duration into counter spell memory deluge. Something crazy has to happen now. Come on. Okay, it's a start. I'm a little worried about disdainful stroke. Looks like they they kept that, or they have that. Like w w what else they have? You know what I mean? Um, yeah. I'm running so low on gas. F 
It's weird though. We have like four expressive duration. We have free windfall, free deluge, and a behold. It's like eleven card draw spells. It's pretty decent. It's a decent amount. <sighs> I mean, I could have bought a this damage stroke as well, but that's. I don't know. It's a little weird. Could kill this off now. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Oh man. Come on, deck. They have twice as many cards as I do. Do you think they have to stay in the stroke? I don't know. But I, I would have snap the stain for stroke that behold. But I also know is it very well. I wish I had a negate instead of the stroke because then I could just let the sovereign resolve and then the their stroke wouldn't even do anything. They're playing it so slow, they're giving me so much time. And I can't capitalize on them, giving me so much time. It's so sad. Oh my god, where's the expressive duration? Ah, they must have to stay in the stroke. Like, like, they're playing so afraid, right? They're playing really around my gold span all the time. They're playing so afraid. And I can't punish them with my card draw. Which is like the nice thing, right? Ah. Drives me crazy. Oh, if I had a field of ruin, I could blow up the blue now and then I wouldn't have blue. At least I can counter back, I guess. That's something. Man, I'm so, like this game was so easily winnable. I just gotta draw some card draw, come on. Right, I'm definitely gonna put another delusion to the deck. I'm just stupid. Like this is perf this is perfectly how these games play out for is it right? Opponent playing super carefully, and then you just absolutely destroy them with all your card draw. I mean, you see what you see my plan. My plan works, but <laughs> you have to draw the card draw. <laughs> Otherwise, it doesn't work. Hmm. So now, ugh, okay. So the shadow skull's gone, I guess. Bones has five Kayami. I'm gonna lose now. If they have like a good good assortment of cards, I'm, I'm dead. They take their braid. Wow. Their braid of all things. What's going on over there? Maybe they just have nonsense? Interesting. The braid you take. It's so weird. Isn't this just like way power way more powerful? Maybe 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 they're saying they they have another stroke. They have another they have a soul shadow, we know that. Remember. They have one soul shadow in hand. I mean I guess I hope the rest of the hand is just managing versus. <laughs> I'll take one hit. Ah, I think I might know what they have. They might be sitting on a Wandering Emperor. And they want me to... I don't know. 
to cast the dragon's fire and then wandering emperor in response maybe i'll just do this oh my god <laughs> where are the delusions where are the express iterations no! <laughs> no, they have the card draw engine. That was huge. Okay, that's something. Uh, they might have. Yeah, I mean, they might have the stroke. No. Okay, that was big. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. Can I, can I have six memory delusions? <laughs> 36 cards deep. Uh, what a weird game. What a weird game. They're sitting on a bunch of removal. One memory delusion, this game's over. I win. That's what I mean. Okay. Uh, sure. I mean, they are also pretty unlucky, I guess. <laughs> They're just drawing a bunch of reactive cards. Well, they have, like, infinite planeswalkers in the deck. And, they're, like, both our draws have been really weird. Like, they have, like, six, seven, eight more planeswalkers, right? They have, like, Loves and more Kaito and more Wandering Emperor. Mm, they have one here, huh? I don't think they have a second to stand with stroke. They would have countered this, right? Like countering a windfall is just too good to not do. I'm just gonna make the to I should have made made the totems in my turn, I guess, for the extra damage. Yeah, they have haste. Keeping this in hand. Oh baby, let's go. Alright, GG. So I wanna do this now because of Archon. Okay. Um, I'll take those. And I'll play this. I'll pass. What's up? If they have a Wandering Emperor, they would cast it. So they, I don't think they have it. Hmm. Okay. Darkness will swallow the light. Draw a card. Oh yes. I know the knowledge of sleep. Um, down looks pretty good. Okay, I'll take these two. Okay. So I can uh, burn on for five. No, I think I'll just use this. I think now, now I win. Six cards, man. Jeez. Um, 28. I guess I'll take the battle. <laughs> like I have enough card match now with the duration, etc. Alright. So now we just find the one copy of Horror and that gets the job done at this point. What a weird game. Yeah, if I had card draw earlier, this game would have been much, much faster. But hey, it's okay. I mean, yeah. 
Looks like we're winning. Banky boy. And my opponent's draw also has been pretty abysmal. It's just a weird game. <sighs> Do I even care? I don't think I care about that one. I'll keep on the gate for something, something more important. Nine cards. <laughs> Jeez. There's my horror. Um free negates. Hallelujah. Uh what am I doing? I should have probably I should have probably uh played at least like one of these gold spans, right? That was, that was not very smart. Now I have to discard like three cards, Jesus Christ. I guess I'll just play Goldspan. Yeah. And play another one. I needed to do this all pre-combat of course was not very smart. Um, that's okay. I will... Sixteen cards left. Ahem. <clears throat> Yeah, 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 I mean, uh, I should just, yeah. Uh, da, 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 I want to draw a card here. I could kill this Kaito off. It's just, it doesn't seem relevant. Really? Let me attack. Hmm. I see. Five cards. Four cards. Yeah, this is just a matter of time now. I'm gonna end step hole breaker. Down to fifteen in myself. Um <clears throat> they could use a removal for the spirits. These games take forever, huh? One 
wondering if I should play the horror here. Let him know it's coming. Pawns the token. Yeah, I could have also just negated, do nothing else. That would also be fine. They have Soul Shatter. Now they're gonna Soul Shatter me. And then we're gonna double activate Hall and kill them. No doubt, sure. I thought they had Soul Shatter. But yeah, they were just sitting on a bunch of removal, I guess. No, that did have it. <clears throat> they should have used that theoretically, but hey, whatever. Like on on the whole breaker, so then they can vanish in worse because again, they both have zero CMC, so I can just hack one one. Doesn't matter. Ooh, that was a weird game. Twenty six, nice. Um. Okay, but so far undefeated against Esper Planeswalkers. <laughs> um, okay, let's take a let's. I, I usually don't do this, but let's take a quick, quick look at the deck again, and um, make some appropriate changes. I I don't know. The windfall is kind of unexciting to me. The horror. I think I just want one in the main. Maybe just one in the seventy-five. Hmm. I don't know. It's close. The rest seems kind of okay. Um, duh, 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 duh. Yeah, I think maybe the Battle of Frost and Fest is a little overkill. Like, I already have three of these. I have a bunch of other removal. Do I really need an, a fourth sweeper Like when I already have so much card draw? So I think I might just put another Behold in the sideboard. Um, could also play, like... Could play um, Divinic Iteration, I guess. That's not very good with Mary Deluge. And what card do I cut in the sideboard? 16 cards. An egg or a hermit. Or a negate, a braid, smoldering egg, signal dragon. Maybe the classen, maybe an egg, maybe the classen. Something like that. I'm also not too sure about these bolts. Maybe I'd want just another abrade. Abrade, like free toughness seems kind of important. Or maybe a rebuke. Uh, yeah, let's just play another rebuke because rebuke kills everything for a fairly cheap price. Um, and there's Redane especially. Redane I just want to always want to kill. Um, another lean, of course. Main deck has a slot now. Wait a minute, how did that happen? How did the main deck get a slot? What did I cut? Cut the horror. Ah, I see. I see, I see, I see. So maybe I just want this in the main deck. And you know what? I haven't tried the card in a while, but let's just put it here in the sideboard. Why not? It's a, it's a unique effect that can win games. All right. I think this is gonna be my next list. I can link that in the, yeah, you, I mean, you have access to it now. Um, anyways, thanks for watching so much and um, let me know how you like this like more analyzing con content. Like I'm really building the deck here in the video sort of, not building it, but like exploring and talking about it and what I like, etc., etc. Give me some of your insights. What did you like? Um, do you have some experience with the deck or with the archetype? Um, but yeah, I think this is very promising. Anyways, 
thanks for watching guys if you like the content don't forget to subscribe and and, and like and until next time bye bye